Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to 20 comfort foods from around the world. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. In these stressful and uncertain Look times at the cheese pool. people from all over the world are seeking comfort in food. Comfort food can fix any bad day. Yes. It's typically high in sugar, fat, and or salt. And the beauty of comfort food Oof. is that it varies from person to person. It's rooted in where you're from and who you grew up with. Why did I go look familiar? Hmm? You don't recognize that? The beauty of comfort food is that it varies uh, mm -mm. from person to person. It's rooted in where you're from and who you grew up with. We asked 20 people from different cultural backgrounds to share what comfort food is to them. I'll start with mine. My favorite comfort food is kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew. I'm Korean American and growing up my mom made kimchi jjigae pretty oh, often for dinner. My mom's kimchi jjigae has that sunla. Sunla in Korean means like hand taste. The best way I can describe it is my mom's special touch. Even if I try to make my mom's kimchi jjigae here in New York City, I can't get that taste because it lacks my mom's special touch. So Aww. basically- That's so interesting, huh? Like yeah. what is that? Like the magic? Love. Love, 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 love. Flavors that you're getting are like spicy, salty, fatty, sour. It's basically everything that I crave when I'm missing my mom. I'm a Jirin, and one of my favorite comfort foods has to be amala and hot fruit soup. To make it, you take some yam flour and you pour it into boiling hot water, stir it up very quickly, and it gets to this nice thick consistency. From there, you portion it out to whatever size you'd like for your meal, and then you can dip it into your super choice. And not only is it a super tasty meal, but after you eat it, it hits you and it puts on one of those nice clothes. Yeah. I remember sneaking into the kitchen as a toddler and trying to tear off small pieces of amala or like the ear seat that they put in the soup and taking it back to my playroom. Um, so of course now anytime that I have that I just automatically think of home. I'm Trinidadian. My favorite comfort food is bacon salt fish. Bacon salt fish is a dish comprised of bait, which is dough rolled out and a Fish called bakalao, bakalao is so good. That we yeah, chop up. this does look good. Like this, so far, this is the best. I mean. My mom makes the best bakalao. We boil and we saute with some sweet onions and some onions. Um, I think it's my favorite comfort food just because it brings back the memory. I would have called it comfort food though. It's a little cute little snack. I like how she's eating it. Mm. It's like a, uh, like a like honestly, like a pita. Yeah, of. you make it into it. You can put it in the She's sandwich. Up, and 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 she but we're not trying to get something with dough, like bake. She would roll up little pieces of dough. Get but it was so good. Flavor, and we would just go crazy for those little pieces of dough. My favorite Haitian comfort food is grill. Grill. It's five pork oh, shoulders okay. that has yeah. special cut where it has just the right amount of fat and just the right amount of skin. Yeah. You would season it well. Bake it briefly and then fry it. So after that, it'll get that nice, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside taste. I remember being a child, you know, every Haitian gathering, family party. If you had real on your plate that night, you, you knew it was gonna be a good night. My comfort food has always been pasta, which is like a really unhealthy version of Italian wedding soup. It has no vegetables, it's really just pasta and meatballs. So the way that my mom makes her meatballs is really what I always crave. She does a mix of pork, of ground pork, ground beef and ground veal. And then she adds in just five ingredients. So the five ingredients are salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley, and cheese. It's not just like Parmesan cheese, it's always Pecorino Romano cheese. That's like the go-to key ingredient. Whenever I go home or whenever I'm like sad or sick or whatever, that's what I want my mom to make me, or that's what I like want to eat. Think scale in your AI. I've that never seen hard. that pastina dish. Yeah. That looks so good. What's the next you can I'm from New York, and my favorite comfort food is grilled cheese. Really? Grilled cheese, grilled cheese was the number really? one thing I get from every single family member and every single restaurant, and it'd be almost the exact same every single time. You gotta try this grilled no. cheese, because maybe we're missing out on something. I don't know. I don't know. This, this just looks so basic. Yeah. What? So today, when I make grilled cheese for myself, I just use white and wheat bread, and I use white American cheese. It reminds me of being best friends with my mom. I'm Allison Brown, and um, today we're going to talk about beef patties because that's my favorite Jamaican comfort food. Well, growing up, my father used to bring home like, a box of beef patties, and he used to put them on the table, and it was first come, first serve, and if you did not get your beef patty, you would be tired. Yeah, for Haitian, I would have put pate myself. Pate? Yeah, instead oh. of griot. Pate, or even honestly, I would put the rice and beans with me comfort before. food yeah comfort food is something more feeling like because yeah his play just griot and plantains that's cute but uh, it's missing something for mm. me like i, I would like eat rice. like a bread or, or mm. beans or something yeah like that plate that haitian plate wasn't it for me now i, I would have put pate yeah mm. now that she said it um i love because I, I was thinking i was like I, 
in my head, I'm like, I feel like there's more comfort in Asian food, but I couldn't come up with that until I saw pate. It's pate. Mm -hmm. How diverse they are. You can get a beef patty, a kalabu patty, an ati patty, any type of patty. My family is Jamaican. Um, they're from Jamaica. I'm American. I was born here. But when we go to Jamaica, it's over. The patties are like hot and ready. They're delicious. I'm from New York. I'm Dominican. And my favorite comfort food is mambu. Mangu is basically like mashed potatoes, but instead of potatoes, it's plantains, and it's a breakfast food, so most Dominicans will eat it in the morning. Mangu is typically eaten with cebollas on top, which is onions, uh, queso frito on the side, which is fried cheese, salami, which is a type of meat, and usually like some people get a fried egg on it. Personally, I love eggs, so I always get on it. The reason yeah, I my favorite food, besides the fact that it's delicious, is because it just reminds me of being in the Dominican Republic and just like being around great weather, sunny, like just an all around great vibe. My comfort food is Capricorn. It came from Ghana's first people known as the Amarillians. Capricorn is a meal that is boiled no with ham and spices and any choice of meat. But my mm -hmm. personal favorite is beef. It can be eaten with anything, bread, cassava bread, rice, anything you would like. Capricorn reminds me of Christmas time and all the family time and all the rich culture in Ghana. My favorite comfort food is kanji, a type of rice porridge. It's often eaten with yong zha guai, also known as a Chinese donut. There are also many different types of kanji. I've had it plain, with dried scallops, um, with preserved egg and salted pork, She's a lot of and just white fish. Growing up, my mom would make this for breakfast some days, and she would also make it for me when I was sick, and I couldn't keep any solid foods down. My mom passed away in January of 2018, so the process of making kanji and eating it reminds me of her love, her dedication and her yeah what i'm noticing about these comfort foods it's not about like the food itself it's more so about what it brings memories to people mm -hmm. i think that's where the comfort part comes from because the grilled cheese there's got to be the memories as my mother i'm mexican-american and my favorite comfort food is tamales every year my grandma and her sisters get I've together and they'll make tamales for Christmas Eve so it really reminds me of home and of Christmas time and of my family, so it's really special. My family makes a dish with shredded pork and a red chili sauce with green olives. Basically, right now, only my grandma and my aunts know how to make it, but they've started to teach me and my mom and my sisters how to do it, so that way we can pass it on to the next generation. My favorite comfort food is my mountain place. It just has this really rich, really savory, and quite salty flavor, and it's just really comforting, especially when it comes to thicky butter. Honestly, peanut butter and jelly would be more comfort food than the, yeah. than the grilled cheese, now that I see this. I have very vivid memories of eating my mountain toast, particularly when I was feeling a bit sick. I had an operation when I was three years old. I went under general anesthetic. Mm -hmm. When I woke up, the nurse said, is there anything we can get you? And my first request was my mountain toast. My favorite comfort food is gatia or Thai noodle soup. Thai noodle soup is the Thai equivalent of what a deli sandwich is with two yorkers, and you can customize each gatia order to be your own. My go-to order is gatia fat, so duck noodle soup with Semi, which are the rice noodles that are thinner than the ones you would have in pho. And I only will eat it in this new one noodle shop and I'm going to use that elsewhere because they just make it so special. And it sucks because I can't really replicate that experience in any Thai restaurant here since they don't really specialize in that. My favorite comfort food are Colombian arepas. Arepas are cornmeal patties. They're typically made with salt, water, and masa arepa. This is my favorite comfort food. Because when I was a kid, my dad and I did not have much schedules at all. So by the time we would get home, I was already sleeping and we wanted to eat each other to really and the weekend, our favorite family time activity was to make arepas. It was also the first meal I learned how to make. So we're gathering in our tiny kitchen, mold them together, put in a stove top, and then once they were ready and hot, my dad would put butter on top, sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese, and it was delicious. And it's still one of my favorite meals. Uh, my favorite comfort food is Puerto and pasta de yuca. In Spanish, you call it masa, like a doughy kind of thing. It has like... What's your favorite comfort food? I was thinking that the whole time. Me I don't too. Know. I think I, I, I would need a definition of comfort food. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm struggling with what what is the definition of comfort yeah. food, I think. Because I eat a lot of food. Yeah, I don't know if I have like one particular food that I would go to. Like, what, what food you would ask your mom to make you? You're like, Mama, make me... I don't that know. Food that. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I think for I, me... It would be like white rice with legume and sauce pois with some sweet plantains. I don't know. I don't know if I have one like that. That's... Could it be a snack? I don't hmm. know. Yeah, I don't know because I'm sitting here thinking and I can't really come up with mm -hmm. one. Like, 
Like for you, it's difficult for you because even when I ask you, okay, what do you want me to make you? You're like, huh? you have no. Yeah, like I don't know. <coughs> it could be whatever. I don't know. So in it, so you can put like meat, chicken, you can put vegetables, and then you wrap it around with banana leaves, and then they boil. And make it what would be your final today. meal? It's my favorite like, comfort food. Do you want snack. what you call that death row death in your last meal? What would it be? Cereal? I don't even I know. I think cereal would be a comfort food. I don't know. I don't know. Once, I'm with my mom, they sit around, we talk, um, and they're making this dish that is so reminiscent of our Puerto Rican culture. My comfort food is lamachum. It's a thin flatbread, almost like pizza, that's enjoyed in and around the Middle East. It's typically made by that's taking lovely. small dough balls and flattening them into really thin pieces, and then it's topped with beef or lamb, some vegetables and spices, and then it's cooked Ooh, in the oven lovely. for just a few minutes. My family and I typically buy a dozen or so of them from Armenian bakeries or grocery stores here in LA because they make them really tasty. My comfort food is ají de gallina. It's a um, spicy chicken mixture that my grandma used to make all the time. A yellow pepper, that's in Peru. Ají amarillo is mixed with, uh, you saute some onions. Uh, then you're gonna add some chicken broth, milk, and crackers or bread. Uh, it's a nice little paste sauce. And then with uh, some boiled chicken that you shredded. Ají de gallina reminds me of just Peru. Like, living. if I'm thinking like what food I would want, like, right, like, that I know like I can make myself that it would be like a rabbit with mashed potatoes like that's how, your comfort. Okay, there how you go. my grandma would that's make that's your comfort food but that's like kind of unrealistic because I don't even know where to get rabbit and you that's know, your comfort food man. I that was like really good like yeah. the rabbit with mashed potatoes the way you talk about it like ooh, you're like oof yeah, but last time I had it was over a decade ago mm -hmm. so I, I, maybe that's what it would be and then my grandfather had 50 uh, 80 chickens and my grandma would just grab one and it would be fresh. I'm busy Pakistani and my favorite comfort food is a dish called Anakir Tarkari. Um, the reason I love this dish so much is because it's a curry. Uh, it's very carby as opposed to one with lots of gravy. My mom usually adds to it aloo, potatoes, mitch, chili, namak, salt, haldi, turmeric, and then she adds something called banj baran, which is a blend of five spices. You blend the spices, you fry them, you add your chocolate potatoes, add water, boil the water up and let the potatoes break up. It's really hot all in, very flavoursome. And it also reminds me of coming home from school and cooking with my mom. Um, then it's a group with my nanny, my name's mom, who passed away a few years back. My two favourite Brazilian comfort foods are cheese bread and feijoada. For cheap bread, it's definitely not in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere all the time. You can eat it any time of the day. It's without a doubt the food that I miss the most because it's just the perfect snack. Feijoada is basically a giant black We've bean soup. We've seen this. It's definitely something that, that I grew up uh, eating. Black bean soup, I remember in our Brazilian reactions. We've seen it. And it's very um, iconic in Brazil. Almost everyone eats it. Yeah. My favorite comfort food has to be food, which is fava beans. And it's usually served hot. And it's really easy to make, so that's why we make it all the time. It contains tomatoes, onions, some people put tahina in it, we put in it a lot of spices. Usually people eat it with peanut bread. It's my favorite comfort food because over the summer, my grandpa would make it for breakfast a lot, so I'd wake up and it would be there. So it reminds me a lot of food. As social beings, social dis- Okay, interesting. We got a lot yeah. of unique foods from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Cool. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, and as always, 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 Share as much kindness as possible.